Hi, so today I'm building a house in Blockburg, but it's going to be out of the section of sofas. Yeah, you heard that. I, I know, I know. This is the highest level of boredom you can get, and I don't think, I don't know, I've looked it up. No one else has done it, right? So I might as well try it out. And there's probably a reason people haven't done it yet. Like, people made huge couches out of the sectionals. Like, with the new sectional sofas, you can snap them together, which is great. I'm glad they added that as a feature. Very much need a, like, quality of life build mode thing. But I haven't seen anyone, like, build a house with thin those yet. I don't know if you can even place furniture. I think you can, but it's kind of silly. But, um, you have these sectionals here. Obviously, they can snap together like this. But can you place, like, things on top of, like, a full-on fridge or something? Because that'd be kind of funny. Oh, you can. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we found our video idea for the day. All right. Let me go ahead and name this the sectional house. <laughs> <laughs> do I put up real walls for this or do I just like make it strictly out of sectionals only? Like do I make the walls out of like that sectional? This is basically our flooring, I guess. We're gonna be building a house within this. I know, this is so silly. I never thought I'd be doing this. I don't know, someone put it in the comments, someone suggested in the comments that I do this and I'm like, why would I do that? Now, I mean, it's only $90 per the Ottomans, right? So it's not the worst. Could have been worse. They could have been like hundreds and hundreds, thousands each, but this could be fine. But you place all the Ottomans together. Where is the one that will bring them all together? There's like that one Ottoman that will move all of them together. I need to figure which one that is. Ah, is that one? I don't remember. It's this one, the fourth one right here. Okay, let me just place it like right here. This is where, no, no. I think I move the house like right there. That's it. No, maybe here. That's a good distance from the sidewalk. We'll just do that. And then for the walls, I don't know if I want to put up like actual like um, walls like this. Like, what is that? No, I think it might just be an open house. I don't know the direction of this. I just stared at it for, for a bit right there. And I'm just like, what am I doing? Let me build a shape. Can I just, I'm just going to build a shape. I don't know why I'm doing this. No, I didn't think I would do this video today. I was like, okay, maybe I can start off wondering if it would work or not. And, um... Surely enough, it, you know, this is what happens. What you saw earlier was me figuring it out. Like, oh, I could do it. I mean, why couldn't you? These are Ottomans. Obviously, you could put stuff on it, but I just didn't think too much about it. Now, what if I... Hold on a second. You can stack them. You can put them on top, right? Absolutely not. No, I'm doing it. That's kind of cool. You can stack them and do that. Like, what? <gasps> You know, build hack, you can make yourself a nice little cartoony palm tree. Like, I, this is giving me palm tree vibes, you know? Like, what if I just made everything out of the sectional? Like, what if I just made my landscaping out of this? That's so dumb, but I love it. Okay, no, I'm gonna continue with this being my walls. We're literally, it'd be better than a flat house, honestly. I'd prefer this than a flat home, but this is annoying. Wait, can I just, okay, it's, it's giving me um bouncy castle vibe. Bouncy house castle. I'm not doing a roof. I'm not doing a roof. I can't be bothered. No, I don't have the patience for a roof, guys. But let me know if you do the roof out of sectionals. Um, send me some photos. I would love to see them, but I'm not doing it. At least people can't break in like too easily. No, never mind. They can climb all this. What am I kidding? People can climb this like it's a like a jungle gym at a McDonald's. McDonald's playground set. Okay, I'm also gonna keep these green as well. I'm gonna keep them the default colors because I feel like it just would look more interesting for the thumbnail. Let me figure out our floor plan here. This is this is our house. It's uh, it looks like a skull in a way. I don't know why I can think of a skull, but it looks reminds me of a skull. I think this here will be our bathroom. It's a two by three, which is not bad. At least it's not a two by two. Uh, it might be actually. Hold on, a weird shape. It's an L shaped bathroom. Let me just say that. I'm gonna make a floor plan for the bedroom. How about this is our bedroom within here? Wow, that's nice. Okay, and then we have like the living room like around here and then the kitchen around here. Oh man. I'm gonna put a basic shape at the bottom here though just for like a little step because I don't think we can like casually walk up here. So I'm gonna use a basic shape. Color it similar to these. Use that as like, <gasps> what if I made a porch? I'm not particularly proud of this, but it kind of looks cool if you think about it. It's kind of cool looking. But what do I do about the roof? Did I make a roof for this? I I can't. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to be that one to like leave it all open. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put. A roof. <laughs> I'll make it small. We're gonna make it a interesting flat roof. Wait, that might be perfect. Hold on. Wait. You see, it's a bit. It's a bit. It's gonna be a bit cramped in here. I made a roof. It's flat, but it's 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 gonna keep you safe from the rain, sheltered from the rain, from the snow, the thunderstorms. 
We are all good here. No worries. Um, so there's no complaints now about that. It literally looks like a bouncy castle. If I were to turn a bouncy castle into a house. When you're super bored, this is what you got to do. I really could have made this so much better though. I'm going to use, to be fitting, I'm going to use a modern kid's bed because we don't have much space anyways to work with. Why did I put the roof on first? I should have done the furniture and stuff. Um, I'm going to use that and then I'm going to use like the modern kids nights. Okay, that's our bedroom. I am honestly, in this type of situation of living, this is a single person house, okay? This house is silly enough. I'm just going to, you know, do the bare minimum, I guess, of decorating it. We'll see if I'll do any special thing. Can you put a carpet on this? I'm sure you possibly can. Oh yeah, you can. This is 10 out of 10. Okay, wait, where's my kitchen actually going to be? I'm going to put the kitchen closer to like the bedroom area. And then yeah, the living room situation is going to be around here. Let's finish the bathroom first because it's not much to deal with. There's our shower. There's our toilet. We have a toilet shower. I kind of want to move these. Real All right, I'm going to just work on the kitchen next. We've got our bathroom pretty much set. We don't have like the towel. We have a toilet paper holder. I can do that. There's a towel holder too. There's a towel stand. I'll just put that right next to the sink. Actually, I'm gonna put it right here. That's pretty, not bad actually. But like a trash can right next to that, you know? You can actually place a mirror in here by using structurals. If you were to like, obviously use a plank and custom place it right here. And then you can actually do a mirror. You put a mirror on that. It just looks really funny within my section of sofa house. But if you, yeah, there you go. That actually looks normal now. I'm just gonna like color it very similarly to the, the walls. There you go. I'm gonna mess around with modern set. I'm just gonna use modern. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter what we use. What we're living in is already a joke. I think our kitchen's just gonna be straight up like straight, straight, straight up like this. And I have a sink right here. So that would be all good. This is quite the house. Uh, okay. That's a kitchen. It's fully functional like a coffee maker on the side of course my usual things i like to add okay let's work on the living room the list area is gonna be the living room that's for sure i think i'm gonna do that now what if i put the sectional sofa within my sectional house it's just intersection interception intersection oh no it's snapping onto like the other things okay it might not work very well hold on i don't know what style what what kind of furniture are we putting in here a mix of everything modern and rustic and we need a tv now well the tv the tv should be okay right yeah okay i'm gonna use the uh i'm gonna use accuslim good old classic accuslim i mean at this point you know i'll you you know me i'll always do those little like decorations i always add these little clutter things in my houses you're gonna peek through the roof a bit that's okay what if i like yeah let's do that maybe a little bookshelf there it may be silly but sometimes it kind of looks all right like it could pass off like as a pretty decent home right at the front door but don't mind it it's it's look at me using all sorts of different furniture styles in my house simple industrial rustic and this metal folks table end table i'm all about the variety of furniture styles in my one house i mean i'm building a goofy house i might as well put in some extra work for like the little things around here to make it feel like a nice little house then i think we can actually add like a dining table right here so we'd have like a little dining spot oh wow maybe here maybe there is a good dining spot i'll do that and then we could have some rustic chairs i already feel like i know what i need Two chairs would be great. Let's just put it like right there. Oh, it's kind of in front of the bathroom though. Maybe like here. I think we light up our house with these floor lamps because I just can't see a ceiling light in here. I don't know. It would look really funny. Look, see. Oh, no, I can't put a ceiling light in here. I'm just going to light up the house with like tables and floor lamps like carpets. Carpets are just, you know, that little little cherry on top for some rooms. And I think a carpet will look great in here. Oh, wait, here we go. Just use the modern kids dresser. I'll put it at the end of the bed. I can't see what I'm doing, actually. Oh, gosh. There you go. We'll just put it there. That's a good little spot. Something at the end of the bed. Now the monsters won't grab your legs if you put your feet over. <laughs> the monsters won't grab your legs. I could put some floor plants in here. I'll put... Actually, this is a little good spot for a floor plant. Can we get more floor plants? I know we have, like, quite a good op few options here, but I would like some more. More floor plants would be great. More table plants, too. Give us a lot of landscaping. I'm looking forward to more landscaping options. Honestly, that's a solid house. Now, if I want windows, I would probably just do this, like delete a couple of these, you know, things here. 
you know, have a little window peeking like that. That's a good window. Maybe one right here as well. Just copy these. There you go. A good window from my bedroom. Um, a window from the kitchen. Little mini window there. That is good enough. Maybe a little window from the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, you're barely getting privacy anyways. You can see like through little cracks of these. I'll add like a few more little things on the top of it just to give it a bit more of a shape rather than just being like super flat out. Super flat, I guess. It's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like it. The landscaping. Let's see. What can we do with landscaping? Do I want to go the extra mile with a bit of landscaping here? I'm using concrete. I don't think I can do too much for landscaping. Let's add some trees. You know, trees will always... You know, trees are always great. Here's my home made out of sectional sofas. All the walls, the roof... The flooring literally is made out of sectional sofas and I just kind of decorate the interior with actual furniture. But if you walk on in, this could be like a bouncy castle house if you think about it, right? <laughs> you know, sort of like it reminds me of that. But when you walk on in, you have your living room right here um, to watch TV perfectly fine. I don't know where it would actually plug into. Um, we got some bookshelf. Here is a dining area and a kitchen right over here. And we got a nice little window to view that one tree there. And then the bathroom itself is over here. Has everything you need, of course. Got your towels, your... T oh wait, where did my... Oh, my mirror is gone because I made a little window right there. Okay, that's fine. We don't need a mirror. And then last but not least, we have ourselves a bedroom, which is pretty standard bedroom. You know, bed, dresser. It's really all you need. There's not much. That is pretty much my house. I actually think this is kind of cool in a way. Like, the idea is dumb and kind of creative, but it it seems pretty cool, though, when you actually live in it. And I think the outside itself, like the exterior, it's kind of cool as well. I don't know. Like, maybe from this angle right here, I think it just looks cool. But um, it's fully functional. You can live here, and it's... It's made out of the new sectional. I kind of like it though. I give it an, a 7 out of 10. That's not bad at all. But that wraps up today's block work episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it interesting, dumb, or inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I don't know what this was, but it turned out pretty cool. I like it. I personally do.